So today there was a massive ritual between West Ham United and Arsenal in the Premier League. The game finished 3-3. Remember, 33 is the big Masonic number. It's the highest rank of Freemasonry. And I've said in multiple videos, it was the Freemasons that established the FA, which they did. And they control the outcomes of these scripted Premier League games. These players are just athletic actors fulfilling their roles, just like actors fulfill their roles by reading out their lines. So 3-3. Three, three. West Ham go 3-0 up. West Ham are having a great season this year because they're scripted to be having a great season with David Moyes. And Arsenal come back and tie the game 3-3. And I just don't get how that happens. I don't get how a team who's in the top six, which West Ham are at the moment, they're currently fifth, can go 3-0 up at home against an average Arsenal team and draw the game 3-0. And people say, oh, well, it was, it was great management from Arteta. Oh, what a response from the Gunners. It's, it's pathetic, guys, that if you're still falling for this. It's all rigged. And I'll prove it again in this video. So this result reminded me of the West Ham United versus Tottenham Hotspur game, which took place on the 18th of October, 2020. So Spurs were the favourites coming into this game because West Ham was struggling. And Tottenham went 3-0 up. Goals from Son and Kane, who have a scripted connection this year and last year, but even more this year. So they're 3-0 up, and what happens? 3-0 up after 82 minutes, and they end up tying the game 3-0. West Ham score three goals in the last 12 minutes of the game. You get an own goal in there from Sanchez, Davinson Sanchez. I witnessed that, and it was intentional. Clearly intentionally put in his own goal. And then today you have a couple of own goals, Suchek and Dawson. It seems like Dawson, every couple of weeks, seems to put the ball in his own goal. Again, just ritual after ritual. So I was like, this is just not right. This, this was a disgrace, by the way, because Spurs were destroying them for 80 minutes. Destroying them. And then suddenly West Ham become the invincibles and score three late goals and tie the game. These guys, they know what's going on. These guys know what's going on. That it's all rigged and scripted. They're just playing the roles. Doesn't really matter where they finish in the league, to be honest, unless they get relegated, because that does directly affect them a lot. But other than that, they're just fulfilling the roles for the Masons that own them, that pay them their wages. So when you um, type in Masonry, it gets you 33. And I've told you the three Masons established the FA, which is a fact. They determine the outcomes of these games, not the players and coaches. When you type in Sunday, because both of these games took place on a Sunday, it gets you 33. I told you the first game involved Spurs, that game being 3-3, and Spurs equals 33. The English Premier League, the abbreviation that is the EPL, that equals 33. And you've got to remember, guys, that the first Freemasonic Lodge was established in London in 1717. And... These games involved London teams. It was London derbies. It's just ridiculous. Both the games involved on goals, and on goal equals 33. They just try and do as many rituals as they can, guys. As many rituals as they can. And get this. So today's date is the 21st, 21st of March. And in full reductions, that's 53. And the time between the... Spurs West Ham 3 3 draw and the West Ham Arsenal 3 3 draw was five months and three days, like 53. Obviously, the games took place in England and England equals 33. There's a reason why it equals 33, as I've said, because basically the Masons established England, they established everything and they control practically everything especially within the entertainment industry with the Jeju order. They're connected hand in hand. So I put a post here on my Patreon about the uh, London Derby mockery. Like I said, I just can't understand how a Premier League team can be 3-0 up and not win the game. If these are elite athletes, it should not be happening. Um, I've coached for 12 years, and if my team's 3-0 up at any reasonable level, they're winning that game. But no, those games that I coach are not scripted. So this game, I've discussed how Mason is 33, PL's 33, England's 33, is 33. This game took place in October. So it was October the 18th. October equals 33. 
You can see here Spurs 3 0 up, they finished 3 all. Then here, this game took place on the 21st, and that finished 3 0. A couple of own goals. Moku, mate, I couldn't believe my eyes. Pe people, like I said, when you're not aware of what's going on, people say, This is amazing. What entertainment. What a great game. This is why I love the game. It's like, if you truly knew what were going on, guys, you would not love the game anymore. You, you could still love, like, I love coaching still. I love playing. Like, give me a football. I, I love it, I'm like a little kid. But getting so absorbed in scripted sports, because it becomes a part of your identity, who you are. And that's intentional. Okay? The sooner these guys come out and say, guys, this is entertainment, it's all rigged, it's all scripted, you still won't be able to guess every single outcome, but it is what it is. This is basically world wrestling entertainment with the football. But no, they're not going to do that because they'll lose a ton of money because they thrive off our passion. It's our passion that makes us buy the tickets, buy the merchandise, buy the um, cable TV stations like Sky Sports or Fox Sports, or BT Sports, whatever it is. Without the passion, without with, when you lose that social identity, that connection with your club, and you realize it is all scripted, they lose billions of dollars, so they're never going to reveal it. It's going to need people like me to really show what's going on. But um, it's outrageous. It's disgusting. I'll keep winning money off it. So be it. But again, that's not important to me. Um, it would have been nice if Suchik scored after 33 minutes. I was hoping there'd be a penalty in one of these games because uh, penalty equals 33 as well. You do often see a lot of penalties awarded on a Sunday because Sunday equals 33. Also, Sunday equals 21, guys. And you'll notice there's often a lot of 2-1 outcomes on a Sunday. I know today I bet on a game in the Bundesliga that finished 2-1. Mainz won 2-1. And then Valencia and La Liga, they won 2-1 on a Sunday. Valencia won 2-1 to get to 33 points on a Sunday. But I could do a separate video on that. But anyways, just another example. I'm going to keep doing this till people really become aware of what's going on and accept it. Because it is very hard to accept. It took me a long time to accept. But now I can just basically foresee a lot of games and what's going to happen so yeah as i've said if you ever have a bet on a team and they're three nil up on a sunday or two nil up on a sunday cash your money out because it could quite easily end two one or three three